In the last lesson, you learned how to add a photorealistic grass texture to your Photoshop site plan. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to add in some surrounding context by adding in the buildings that surround our site. If you'd like to watch all the other 40 plus lessons available, as well as gain access to all the course files and 50 bonus textures and PNG trees you can use for your own site plans, check out the full Photoshop site course on my website. The link is down in the description below. If we go back to our other file, you can see that these are just kind of white rectangles and that's just to show the general whereabouts of these buildings and the context around our design, which is this part here. To create these rectangles around the design of our building, we can hit the U key and this will bring up the rectangle tool and we can just change the fill to be white. We can change it to have no stroke and then we can just start to place in the whereabouts or the general whereabouts of where these buildings are. So I know that there's, a, there's an old manor up in this corner here and there's a, a little chalet across here and there's another one over here as well. And then I think there's one around here. There's a little base camp thing, as well as a few buildings around here. If we want to be like 100% sure, we can just bring up that op opacity of the Google Earth image. And then we can just start to overlay some of these things. So as you can see, there's some context up here, which I actually missed in here. What I can do is now select the layer that I want to edit. I can click Control T. And I'm just going to scale this to be the right scale of that. And I know generally there's a, another chalet over here. I'm going to just scale this one down to represent that. And I'm going to delete that one, copy this one over by holding Alt. I'm going to drop that there. And this other base building is, I think it's around this area. So I might just place that approximately there. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, I've shown it over here a little bit more, but that's not the focus of this site plan. The focus is just to show generally where everything is. And then I'm going to bring in some of these other things as well. And I can just use the rectangle tool again and just rotate them around if I would like to by pressing Control T. I'm just going to rotate that one around and press U again, create a couple more buildings and there you have it. So if I drop the opacity of this Google Earth image again to 15%, now we can see we've got a few buildings in there. All right, so for demonstration's sake, we've got our buildings there. And as you can see, they've got a nice little drop shadow on them. So let's go ahead and create that drop shadow. What we can do is we could probably just select all of these and we're going to group them by pressing Control G. And then on here, I'm going to type context and I'm going to create an effects on the whole group, which is going to be a drop shadow effect. Now we can change the direction of this by using the angle here. And we're going to bring the distance out a bit so we can see it a bit more. And we're going to turn down that opacity because that is too bright at the moment. We still want it pretty high to be honest. So it gives it that nice contrast. Turn the size down a little bit. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's click OK on that drop shadow. In the next lesson, you're going to learn how to add in some paths and roads to your Photoshop site plan.